Season three of Humans begins exactly one year after the events of season two, um, one year after what we call the dawn of consciousness or day zero in the show, which is when all of the synths in the world were granted consciousness. We've got most of our synths living in a synth community and we've also got two different kinds of synths which is very new and very exciting for us which will be something we've never seen on the show before. The green eyes are broken. They don't have to do anything that we say but the orange eyes do and the orange eyes can't harm people or ever do anything naughty. So what do we do when we see a green eyes? On day zero, when all the green-eyed synths uh, became conscious, they became self-aware, and obviously they were working in factories, they were working in servility to humans in domestic settings, and they didn't want to do those things anymore because they didn't have to. So a solution was found in the construction of the orange-eyed synths, which were built so they weren't conscious, uh, and they could not become conscious. I'm the 11th generation Sally by Lundström, and I'm 100% safe. Guaranteed. When we started production and we knew we were having orange eyed synths, myself, Dan O'Neill, Laura Hill makeup, Kate Gill costume sat together and really thought about what we wanted for orange eyed synths and how they would be different from the green eyed synths of the past. You want it to look amazing, you want it to work properly, and you want it to be safe. Hello, Mrs. Hawkins. I am Stanley. I have been appointed by Her Majesty's Government to act as your domestic and professional assistant, personal security detail and driver for the duration of the Dryden Commission. And the physicality that we've employed with the new model since is to reassure humans there's no danger of them impersonating us. Whereas before they were much more user friendly and sort of presented much more like us in a way. Dan and myself came up with a way of showing that they were on standby and not active in the room where they put their heads down and crossed their hands. And the idea behind that was to make them look submissive so that they would never make people fearful. Mate, he's a unit. Hello, Toby. My exaggerated stature is a design feature of my passive personal protection remit to serve as both physical barrier to attacks and psychological deterrent. I found it interesting working out how Laura would treat Stanley and I wanted to make sure that the difference with the green eyes and the orange eyes is very clear and when Laura is talking to Mia, for instance, that's a different thing to when she's talking to Stanley. Would you be an absolute prince and do the online shop? Of course, Laura. There. An order based on frequently bought items and my own weekly recipe plan can be reviewed and edited until 5 p.m. Uh, next time, do it a bit faster. Of course, Laura. I apologise. I quite enjoyed sort of almost accidentally treating him like a servant, a slave, because I think that's realistic, that's what would happen.